English language has its moments, uh, mainly because of it not being a pure language. And we have to re remember that. It, it's, uh, it can be at times a dangerous language because how easily it is to fall into words that are uh, not with good direction. Um, they sometimes kind of teeter-totter uh, between what is right and wrong. And I can deal with this an example with the word dabble. If I said to dabble in something, if I said this guy dabbles in truth or he dabbles in lies, it doesn't sound solid. It sounds like someone just kind of picking in and out of what he wants to do. And uh, my first uh, experience with this word uh, that has the root word dab, uh, I remember that the English uh, angling, when they first went out to go out and catch fish, which we'd understand through fly fishing, uh, it was called dabbing because what they did was they would take uh, horse hair that they'd make fishing line out of, and then they would have a lure or a hook that they would tie on an artificial fly to trick the fish. Therefore, you know, the first beginning of uh, a hooker, uh, catching something by hook, line, and sinker. Um, so it was not what we see today in fly fishing. It's much different, but it became more artful as time went on. But that was the method that was used. They just went over with a bamboo rod or pole and then would dab or drop the line into the stream to trick the fish with the lure. So when I see the word dabble, it gives me that feeling, but I can understand it in the, uh, in the direction of the word. So we're gonna go to Samuel Johnson's dictionary, 1755, and it says to dabble, to play in water, to do anything in a slight shallow manner, to tamper. Doesn't have a good feel about it. Sounds like someone intermingling or disturbing something, but not doing it with a good intention. And then it has uh, a dabbler, one that plays in water, one that meddles without mastery. So um, we can see here that it's something, as they would say in Samuel Johnson's, a superficial meddler. Someone who's not there for the right reasons. So it is not a word uh, that we'd want to use when we're talking about someone who's researching the truth of scripture or the truth of words. We're not here to dabble. We're here to get into the root of these words to find out what they mean. Uh, certainly we understand that the law, what we call legal now with the lawyers, they seem to be dabblers. They seem to go in and maneuver words uh, to an, an intention um, that does not have a solidarity towards truth.